when koi pond wishes come true, here are the 10 most ridiculous mansions in China. 1 billion Chinese won or 149 million US will afford you the most expensive mainland home in the world's most populated country, China. The 1,663-acre estate is named Taohuayuan. From Mandarin, it roughly translates to Utopia, or Peach Blossom Land. It's located on the south shore of a prestigious private isle on Suzu's Dushu Lake. About 56 miles from Shanghai, it took three years for Sunak China to build the residence fit for an emperor. They took their time and gave the land some tender loving care. For reference, a Chinese development company built the much more impersonal Mini Sky City in a record 19 days. It's a 57-story tower in Changsha, the Hunan province in southern China. Taohuayuan is 72,400 square feet, or 1.6 acres. For reference, it takes a minimum of 8,000 square feet of living space for a property to be considered a mansion. To give you an idea of where this res sits with the big boys, the biggest private residence in the U.S., Biltmore Estate in Asheville, North Carolina, is 178,976 square feet. And the largest on earth is Istana Nurul Iman Palace in Brunei, with 2.15 million square feet. Back to Taohuayuan. 32 bedrooms and 32 bathrooms, the Chinese national football team, main cast of Shangxi, and the entire Wu-Tang clan could do sleepovers over there, each person with their own room and they could conceivably all shower at the same time. When everyone wakes up, they face south so they can get the optimal amount of light, as per the architect's design. The entire palace-looking complex was designed with Tang Dynasty architecture in mind, which started in 618 AD and has been in conservative development ever since. Tang Dynasty architecture has aged pretty well when you compare it to, say, the Norman architecture of the castles of the Dark Ages in Europe. Carlisle Castle on the border of England and Scotland is interesting to look at, but its plain, bricky insides are mundane and wouldn't do anything to help your seasonal affective disorder. Fun fact. In traditional Tang Dynasty constructions, there were no nails or screws. Everything was fitted together like Lego. Winos and wine aficionados will appreciate this cavernous wine cellar. If you can think it, you can store it to drink it in here. You can store a case of $300 a bottle Ayo Yun wine. The Feng Shui outside of the house synergizes almost effortlessly with the land. It's surrounded by mist-covered ponds and wooden bridges, along with a good-luck koi pond in the middle and lush garden modeled on the classical gardens of Suzu, which have been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Zhang Shenbang, traditional architectural and building skills were employed to handcraft all the bricks and lay out all the flora. Its infinity pool hovers just a little above the Dushu Lake and is worth close to $130,000. And let's not forget that inspirational waterfall, a high-end artificial waterfall that will run you about 20 grand, perfect place to relax in front of and write your memoirs. You could be this home's first owner, as it's currently up for sale. And looking at it from this angle, it looks like the perfect place to have a Mortal Kombat stick. If we move off mainland China, Hong Kong has a $488 million mansion for sale in the exclusive Victoria Peak neighborhood. The 16,330-square-foot Management of Shuang's Consortium International Limited-owned home is still up for sale, as its 1990s Fresh Prince of Bel-Air styling feels a little dated for the fat price tag. A similarly priced but much more modern mansion in California, like this 16,000-square-foot, 5-bedroom, 8-bath mansion on 1301 Collingwood Place, is only $55 million by comparison. This is not priced so much for the mansion itself, but for the prestige of the neighborhood it lives in. Middle Gap Road is known for being the street for shot callers to live in in Hong Kong. With just a few homes separated by lush greenery, it's the privacy that so few Hong Kong city dwellers get that's so valuable. Hong Kong real estate is the least affordable in the world, surpassing Vancouver, New York City, and Sydney, Australia. The view of the city and its being surrounded by trees in an otherwise concrete jungle are its most attractive assets, as its owner should feel like a king of kings looking over the homes of some of the wealthiest people in the world. On the other side of the spectrum, Hong Kong is in a housing crisis, as tens of thousands of people pay around $378 a month to live in Dracula-sized coffin homes. If this 24 middle gap road sells at $448 million, it will hold the world record for most expensive private residence ever sold in all of Asia. We are still in the neighborhood of Hong Kong's billionaire's row for Jack Ma's $191 million mansion. 
The Alibaba founder lives on 22 Barker Road in this 9,900 square foot bungalow slash villa style property. The $36.8 billion e-commerce juggernaut enjoys a 270 degree sea view of Victoria Harbor, which he can enjoy from four different balconies in the four story home. Excellent for those late night thousand yard stairs trying to get one step ahead of Bezos. He also has a 20,000 square foot garden for moments of deep peace in one of the most densely populated cities in the world. The 100% urban Hong Kong population of 7,591,505 inhabitants live in only 405 square miles, leaving each person with roughly 180 square feet of land if everything were allocated exactly equitably. Jack Ma's Barker Street was at one time in the top 10 streets in the world in terms of real estate prices in the last 10 years. The current Hong Kong title holder is Conduit Road, sitting loudly at number 9 in the world with 10 ultra prime sales of $25 million or more as of 2020. Number 1 in 2022 is 57th Avenue in New York with 41 residences sold for over $25 million. New York, New York, baby. Huaxi is the self-proclaimed number one village under the sky and richest village on the planet, where everyone drives $60,000 Audis and live in 6,458 square foot mansions. The communist modeled Maoist Haven has more than 200 red-roofed mansions, all exactly the same. Like people who live in communes, some residents consider the rest of the world the outside world, well aware of their community's insulation. Huaxi's 2,000 inhabitants are all upper management and work seven days a week week, if old enough, and allegedly lower-skilled $226 a month workers from outside the city can be granted a spot in Huaxi if they work hard enough and long enough. Each villager in Huaxi has access to a minimum of $250,000, controlled by a city council of sorts led by Chief Bushun. If you leave Huaxi like a strict conservative tribe, you lose it all. Consequences to living in Huaxi? Every day, residents have to listen to blaring propaganda from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., not unlike what the grunts have to listen to in Halo Infinite. Master Chief could never live in Huaxi. In fact, the newly erected 1,078-foot-tall, $500 million super tower looks just like Halo's propaganda towers, and it houses a biblical-looking solid gold $40 million ox. Looks like Wall Street's 7,100-pound bowling green bowl has a rival. A more modest-sized home at 43,055 square feet is the Tao Huan Villa, priced at $40 million. The living room is a mix of Chinese and Western tastes, with 25-foot ceilings, daylight brightness all around, a river-themed carpet, snow-colored walls, and a cloud-themed chandelier round out the decor. The other three-story cylindrical floor-to-ceiling chandelier sits firmly in the middle of the staircase that carefully coils around it, leading to the tea and study rooms. Just outside the palace where you go to do your homework is a panoramic panoramic view of the garden and seemingly infinite Chinese landscape and golf course. Let's look at the master bathroom for a moment. Large intact white marble pieces adorn the walls, countertop, and encase the ivory hot tub. Judging from its veins, the marble type appears to be Danby, an $80 per square foot Italian porous material that requires chemical treatment to make it appropriate for a kitchen or bathroom. A job like this for a bathroom this size might run you upwards of $60,000, parts and labor included. Now, you just know you've made it when your residence has a treasure room. The vases hold untold wealth and secrets that go back generations. And there's something about that crystal deer. Upstairs from the treasure room is the boss level cloakroom, which looks like one of the finer stores in NYC's Macy's, giving you that feeling you're wearing all new threads every time you get dressed in it. Above that, the master bedroom and a pair of children's rooms, adorned with white bamboo walls and carefully manicured bonsai trees, make the experience uniquely Chinese. Mr. Miyagi would have loved it here. The Shunyi district in Beijing is home to a $34.7 million mansion. The home belongs to a Chinese businessman who prefers to remain anonymous. Right when you enter, there are bedrooms available immediately on either side of the door. Perfect for nights when you overeat at the buffet and need to lie down without delay. This home supports the revering of elders, something that's prominent in Chinese culture, and facilitates the taking care of parents by their children in their golden years. Then comes an elegant lounge area for entertaining guests. The main fusion dining room slash living room is actually down some steps at a lower level with a King Arthur-esque round table to make sure all guests feel equal. The 27 and a half foot ceilings give a royal feel to the dining room and an overlooking balcony 
would be a perfect place for the Chinese version of Statler and Waldorf to overlook and comment on dinner. The kitchen has a skylight that can be open or closed, like Toronto's Rogers Center. More than $595,000 has gone into the fancy Gagano, Hausgerät kitchen appliances and kitchenware, so the chef and line cooks can't blame the oven when the food gets burned. A home theater as good as a small cinema, a gym, spa, and the billiards room are the lavish amenities that outline the property. A 55.7-foot chandelier hangs from the attic all the way down to the garden level. The price is a mystery, but to give you an idea, it costs over $15,000 just to clean it. A massive wine cellar is picture-perfect for you to do in kernel mustard with a lead pipe. A clue reference, I know. Take an elevator to a 1,615 square foot master bedroom. The floors are wrapped in German calfskin and the bird-themed wallpaper is hand embroidered. The top floor is as refined a reading room as you'll ever get. The perfect place to read, A la recherche du temps perdu, or In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust, which at 4,215 pages is one of the longest novels ever and a constructive way to pass the time during a pandemic. Property management fees cost about $31,500, the average yearly salary for a white-collar Chinese worker. This $584,000 Guangzhou showstopper of a home is the least expensive on our list, but no less interesting. Seven Chinese women are doing something similar to what TV's The Golden Girls did. The friends of over two decades decided to live out their days as roomies in a light-filled, glassy, three-and-a-half-story estate. All bedrooms are on the upper level, and the ground floor has shared common areas for chit-chat and downtime. Highlights include a glass box-enclosed tea room, mega-sized tatami mats for group hangs, a dining area with extra extra long table, Moroccan and Indian furniture, a swimming pool, and an open-air tea pavilion connected to the home by way of a bamboo walkway. Rachel Ross, Chandler, Monica, Phoebe, and Joey must be green with envy. The former colleagues did what many groups of friends say they're gonna do. Buy a compound and live out the rest of their days. Good for them. In Kowloon Tong, Hong Kong, sits the shopping mall-sized 25,000-square-foot Hariella Mansion. It won't be for sale, well, probably ever, as it was built in the 70s for the Hariella family for infinity and beyond. If we go by the square-foot cost for a luxury property in Hong Kong of $3,911.95, we calculate in 2022 this complex to be worth $97,798,750 US dollars. The property comfortably handles 90 people, with the numbers evenly split between family and work. The textile juggernauts moved in from India to Hong Kong in the 1930s, made serious bank making military uniforms for the Yanks and Brits, and are now in the private hospitality business with 17 properties around the globe. Like a fancy frat house, the ground floor is for parties, entertainment, and private dinners. The dinner table and other tables in the house are topped with pizza box thick London glass that was sent out to India to have those gold leaves cut out. Like TV's The Sons of Anarchy and Boardwalk Empire's The Commission, the Hariellas understand the familial unification a table can bring. The mansion has six individual apartments on the upper levels, tailored to the family's six brothers' needs, and each one is themed like an extravagant version of a lover's motel. Harry Hariella's bedroom is adorned with Mickey Moto Akoya pearls. A strand of AAA-rated unblemished pearls can go for up to $8,000, so you can only imagine how much these pearl drapes and ceilings are worth. The patriarch's bedroom is Indian-themed with a $20,000 hand-carved brass swing. In the same way the center of many upscale mainland China homes are built around koi ponds, this Indian Hong Kong mansion is built around a Hindu temple. In Zishan, Beijing, you can find the three-story Shimao Group-owned Longyin Lingquan $15 million villa. The 13,777 square foot residence is right next to the royal courtyard of the Imperial Palace, so you just know security in the area is tight. You'll be pre-wowed before you even enter as a pure lake water waterfall and carefully curated garden surrounds a 32 square foot square cut sapphire stone and majestic oriental copper lions that greet you as you enter through the 16.4 foot brass doors. Inside the house, the lobby has semi-hidden magnificent cloakrooms and cabinets so you always look your best. Floor-to-ceiling windows and a bling-bling chandelier worth over $157,000 make the living room feel alive. The white jade marble walls are tiled in a way to intentionally make you think of the mountains. No idea how much this golden heart holding jackass is worth, but we'll bet it's for good luck. I'd bring it to the casino. The seven-bedroom home has a designated suite for the elderly in the northwest, with windows viewing both north and south. The nine-bathroom mansion also has a bathroom prepped for the aged, with a pull-down shower chair and handrails. Secret drinkers will love this hidden bar behind the secondary cloakroom. 
grab a drink and a cigar and head down to the four-seat home movie theater with porthole decorative windows. For just one of those uber-comfy, haptic D-Box leather recliners will set you back $6,000. This bookworm's paradise is a two-level library which houses another hidden bookshelf door for an even more secret library to hide your weirdest books and most valuable manuscripts. In the basement, there's a top-shelf gym, spa, and elegant swimming pool. Outdoors, there's a surreal 3D bar, a pet area, a fitness area, and an astrology corner for clear nights of looking at Saturn. The Jimeng Yang painted the vast land-inspired project is up for sale, so if you know anybody in the market, a 5% commission fee would net you 750 grand. Not bad. China is producing billionaires more aggressively than the former big dollar heavyweight champion of the world, the US. 1,058 billionaires were living in China last year compared to 696 in America. We could be seeing more Feng Shui Tang Dynasty inspired homes in SoCal and billionaires row pretty soon.